Hello. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up brackets so that it works well with PHP. So when you select the live, the live preview, which is indicated by the arrow in this image on brackets, what happens is you get this error message. So I'm going to show you what you need to do to get brackets and PHP working together. Hello, let's get started. Okay, so you've installed Exam, and now I'm going to show you how to how to make it work so that you can code in HTML and PHP files. Now, to code in PHP file to code in HTML files, you don't really need Exam, but you are going to need it for the PHP, and there will be a bit of PHP thrown into these HTML tutorials. It's good that you get to understand that right from the get-go, otherwise it would just confuse you later on. So we have brackets open. So if you don't have brackets open, open brackets. Now this little file here, um, I'm just going to show you that we can use the uh, live preview. So if above this block over on the uh, top right hand side there is this uh, uh, live preview so if you click on that you will get you will get the code that is in here so that makes things uh, a little bit easier right so that's a HTML file but this one here this the, the, the next file that I'll show you is a PHP this is PHP. Now if I try to do the same thing here, I get this. Okay, so you need to know what to do, what steps to do to make sure that you can successfully run your PHP files so that you can check them and see what's going on. So if I cancel that. Now the next thing we do is open XAMPP if you don't already have it open and make sure that the services are all started that your network is selected and that you go to volumes and you want to select mount and when you select mount you will get something that shows up on your desktop so you can find it in finder and I'll show you where it is in finder It's going. It's going to be something like, like um, this with the with the number in. You select it, and you'll see lamp. Now this is what you'll see on your desktop underneath the uh, disk. Will say lamp. So we look in here, and we look at the ht docs. That's the file that we're looking for. Ht docs. And we go into here, this has got the files in it. Now this is the root file to XAMPP. So everything's gonna start from, from here. It, it, it's, uh, it, it's pretty straightforward. But you will need to select the um, files that you want to use. That's why I'm using brackets because it makes all of that a whole lot easier because it cuts out a few steps. Otherwise you've got to keep typing in the, the file path into your browser after localhost and the um, the port that you're using and that can be a bit of a bind so if we create a folder and call it my web and just leave it in there for now now we go back to Two brackets and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to close that and I'm going to open up a new folder so we go to file open folder and then we scroll down and go to the disk that we went to before under shared we select it we select the lamp and then we look for HT Docs 
and then in htdocs here's the folder that we created my web and we just select it and then open okay so now it's going to have um we're going to get rid of that one your folder of course will be empty at this point but i've already written a couple of files and placed them in so that i can demonstrate what's going on it's going to have the folder open here and now we have two php files there's a, a document there that hasn't really got anything in it and um, no so this here uh, it starts off with html so we're just going to make sure that that works but if we look at the bottom there is some php and the file is saved in php and then finally again before you open it up we go to file and we go to project settings now when you do this the first time um you won't have anything in here because it, it would just show up blank it's just that i've already added it in so what you have in here is you're going to have to have http colon slash slash local host colon and then port 8080 and then between the two slashes is the name of your folder if you don't do this it still won't open up so go ahead and put the name of your folder in there but bear in mind that this part won't be showing you'll have to type that part in yourself now this is the part that you type into your browser to be able to get to the um, my admin uh, um, page because if you just if you just go to the um, if you just go to my application it, it won't it won't take you there there's a few more fancy tricks that you need to do to be able to set it up to do that so make sure you've got the right file path pa uh, uh, typed in and in this case it's going to be the local host colon 8080 and then um, in if you've been following this video then you've got my web as your folder you'll have to type that in so once you've done that then click done now if I go to the live preview and select that button this time the PHP file works so you're able to have a look at the PHP file as you are coding it so you can see what it looks like this makes things a whole lot easier. I hope you liked my video. If you did, perhaps you'd like to subscribe to my channel Dreamasium. And you can also check out my blog at sciencetony.com. Thank you for watching.